brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this Smoking shit. big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit. Hey man, y'all already know what's going on. We is in the building, man. As soon as y'all get up in here, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is. Drop location so we shout out to where everybody from. Y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. We ain't here talking about butter and swipe. And then we talking about bloodhound Lil Jeff. We're gonna start off with the butter and swipe shit first. So Vlad done called Butter back up to uh to do another interview with him and shit like that. And you know, swipe name end up getting brought up whole time. Vlad tells uh Butter like, look, when you got shot that day, when you and your sister K I got shot that day, was swipe duh Did swipe help you that day? Did swipe uh hop out the car and damn near bring you to the car and you know how motherfucker drive you to to a hospital and shit. And you know, it done been multiple interviews where Butter got asked about this shit, and he said, yeah, Swipe was there, Swipe was there, Swipe helped me in the car. You know, you know, everybody saying the same story, like like a lot of people have done already confirmed this shit. Swipe done confirmed it, Butter done confirmed it. Uh, a lot of people confirmed it and shit like that. And the whole time, you know, I guess some shit done happened between Butter and Swipe since the last time Button then got asked about this shit because he hopped up in this interview and was like, nah, dude, that's a goofy. His ass a hype. Hell no, nah, he wasn't there. He ain't helped me. His ass don't know what happened. You know, his ass lying and shit like that. So, yeah, something had to happen. But look, this also, but this is why I want to tell the people that's watching. Butter is lying, bro. Butter is lying about uh, Swipe not being there. And the day that he got shot, the day him and K.I. got shot, he lying about that shit. This whole time, he done went in 100 interviews and said this shit already. He done already said this shit in 100 interviews. So for him to hop up in this interview and say, you know, to say now he want to say, no, nah, he wasn't now. It's like, you know... It's like, like your ass lying, bro. Like, your credit... Dude, the type of person, he don't care about his credibility, so we ain't even gonna take that angle. But it's like, yeah, bro, anybody watching this shit... Like, y'all know just like I know, just like everybody know. Like, anybody watching this shit, y'all are... You know, we ain't even gotta talk about the shit. Anybody watching this shit, y'all already know. You know, butter-ass lying. You know, for, he real life front of his shit. You know, his ass mad at Swipe. For whatever reason, he mad at Swipe. And it's like his ass lying on my son, bro. Like, you know, this shit crazy. But look, butter, he getting the, he getting money off these interviews because it's like, you know, it's looking like the industry, the interview industry, which would be like Vlad and No Jumper. It's looking like they see, um, like butter is useful to them. You know, like they using butter because they doing numbers. They doing numbers off these interviews that Butter is doing. So it's like, you know, they looking at him as useful. Like, they not his friend. They not his homie and none of that shit. It's like, he's just useful to them at the moment. And Butter ass, his ass ain't no motherfucking stand-up guy. His ass ain't no real nigga, none of that shit. So he gonna do shit like this. He gonna hop up in the interviews and lie and contradict himself from the other interviews that he did where he said something completely opposite of what he said. He don't give a fuck, bro. He not no real nigga. He not none of that shit, you know? And it's like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like it go deeper. Like, it go deeper than what a motherfucker think as far as the shit that we talking about. Because, look, for somebody to hop out the car and help you while you getting shot at it's like you know what I'm saying you can't repay you can't repay that type of shit like that's something you can't buy that type of shit that's something it's like your life is on the line like for somebody to help save your life is you know that's something that you can only help repay that shit type of shit back by Helping save in their life. Like, you got to do the same shit that they did for you. And it's like, yeah, that type of shit priceless, bro. 
that type of shit priceless. Like, I'm not hopping up in this bitch. Oh, I'm 10 swipe. None of that shit. Y'all already know how I'm coming. Y'all be seeing the shit that's on my shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, y'all know my slogan. I'm just saying what it is. I don't got no dog in the spike. And any of these stories that I do about motherfuckers, like, I'm not on nobody's side, bro. Like, straight unbiased opinion. So I'm not team butter, not team swipe, nigga. I'm team CSP at the end of the motherfucking day. I'm just like speaking on this shit and seeing what it is like that type of shit is priceless this man helped save your life you could have died that day your sister died the people who killed your sister shot you your ass ran away with your kneecap down and blew off and you was running for your life you know they swipe when the guy out the car and aid and assisted you who knows what would have happened like you could have motherfucker would have probably caught up to your ass and killed your ass that day but, you know, Fulham ended up stopping the car, getting out, and helped you in a, you know, in a life and death situation. And for you to call a motherfucker all out their name, a goofy, dick eating ass, goofy, you know what I'm saying? Nah, he wasn't there and all that shit. You the type of motherfucker that's like, and then the whole time, it's being said that Young and somebody else from FBG was up in the car, and they didn't want to stop. So it's like you, you been a motherfucker that niggas ain't fuck with. Like even to the point where it's like motherfucker chasing you down, trying to kill you, and they don't even care to stop the car. It's like, you know, that says a lot about you. That says a lot about you, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers calling your ass to send off. You got somebody like Boss Crazy, who been around, know everybody his ass, say, yeah, buddy, he from my hood, but he was a send off. He just wanted to be down with us so bad that he was willing to do anything to be, you know what I'm saying, a part of what we had going on. So it was like his ass was a sin off and shit like that. And so, so, so I, uh, your ass a sin off the whole time. Your life didn't mean shit to them niggas. You was getting chased down, motherfucker finna kill damn near, uh, motherfucker chase you down trying to kill you. The other FBG members don't even care to stop the car. And the motherfucker that did stop the car and started came to help you years down the line, he's like, but don't get it twisted. Like, you know, butter, not at fault. Cause it's like, you know, his ass a goofy. You know what I'm saying? Like he don't mind, you know, he with the shit. Like butter like what's going on. Like he, he happy as hell. Like, man, you know, we got a big opportunity. Adam and Vlad like him as far as he, he's a, uh, a person that they want to keep interviewing and shit like that. So Butter happy as fuck about that shit. So like, don't expect Butter to put up no type of resistance or have any, expect him to have any morals or any of that shit. You got to remember, fool, this the same motherfucker that King Von and D-Thing paid money to not snitch on them. Like for a motherfucker to take it that far, it's like, you know, it's like you a motherfucker that they know. Like, nah, bro, we know this nigga gonna tell, bro. We gotta try to pay him some money or something. I think it was another famous case where uh, that shit happened. Suge Knight and Orlando Brown, the Tupac murder. You know, Suge Knight paid Orlando Brown. I'm talking about Orlando Brown. Orlando Anderson money to not, you know, to say that he never yeah, um Suge Knight paid Orlando Anderson money to tell the courts that, you know, or that Suge Knight didn't kill him. I think Suge Knight still got hit, though, because the shit got caught on camera and shit like that. You know, like, we got motherfucking this shit in 4K. It don't matter what uh, Orlando, the victim, say. Like, we got this shit on camera type shit. But, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's like... You know, I know that y'all into it, like Butter and Swipe is into it, but it's like, this just goes to show you that as soon as you get into it with a motherfucker, now you finna lie and say whatever, it don't even matter. Like, you gonna say, you finna make some shit up. And you know, but that, you know, for Vlad and No Jumper, that shit is great. You know, that, that shit is good for them, you know, but it just make real niggas like me and the others look at Butter like, man, you know what I'm saying? Make motherfuckers look at him like, this nigga's a fucking, he's a fucking disgrace to the FBG name. Like, once again, bro, this is why motherfuckers want him to take that shit off his name. Niggas can say whatever they want to say about Young and Dutchie, but, you know, 
which is I don't know what the fuck y'all saying. Y'all probably be like, man, y'all ain't want no shit, but you really ain't got nothing to say about Dutch. Y'all probably talk about their music and how they not doing the big numbers that Duck was doing and shit like that. But that's all y'all can say about them. Like they not doing like super big numbers that a motherfucker would expect from the niggas that was around Duck. Like, that's all you can say. You can't say shit about them niggas when it, if, if you're trying to compare, like, them to this nigga Butter. Like, Butter the police, his ass a liar, his ass is a motherfucking type of nigga. You can save his life, and then he get mad at you and be like, man, that nigga ain't do shit. He ain't do, do shit. Uh... Like this nigga lying on KI, talk, they trying to keep the narrative going that she got all these fucking bodies. Like, dude ass is a fucking, like, the worst type of motherfucker, bro. Like, he the worst type of motherfucker. Like, his ass, his ass got herpes on his motherfucking lip. And his ass, like, we know what the fuck that bump your ass got real sexually transmitted disease on your shit. You know, like, this nigga's a fucking goofy. You know what I'm saying? He think he's somebody like, yeah, I beat up Keith. I beat up Vaughn, you know what I'm saying? Like, I right, but shit, what the fuck? Like, your ass, like, is that your claim to fame? Like, you beat up Keith? You beat up King Vaughn? That's your claim to fame? What the fuck you got going on? If Vlad and No Jumper ain't have no use for you in this interview circuit that they got going on, it's like, shit, you wouldn't have no motion. Because the shit that's going on on your channel, that shit is, like, fucking... Yeah, man, that's that's really all... That's really a thing on the Butter situation. It's, you know, it's a lot of shit being said, like... Uh, Butter and Lil J wasn't even allowed over there. Like, the day that Butter came over there and got shot with K.I. that day, it's saying that... It's being said that Butter snuck over there that day, all type of shit. But, uh, don't nobody got nothing good to say about Butter, bro. And that said something, bro. You know, everybody got something good to say about the. It's like, you, you know what the fuck going on, but it's like, you know, the, the majority of motherfuckers saying a, uh, about a person. Like, everybody saying yo ass a goofy, that's probably what's going on. Everybody saying you a real nigga, that's probably what's going on. But uh, to everybody over there was a goofy. Duck to everybody was over there was a real nigga, so it's like, you know. No, that's that on that shit. It's like, you motherfucker like that, that you help save their life and they get the, you know, man, he ain't do shit type shit when they get, when y'all get into it. It's like, that's not a real nigga. A real nigga gonna say, like, yeah, I don't fuck with dude, but he did help save my life that day. You know, his ass a bitch, but he helped save my life. Don't front your shit, bro. Like, you not a real nigga. You got a motherfucking, give a motherfucker credit where credit due, especially when it's about some shit like that. Like a motherfucker saving your know, life and you just don't want to get them they props on the situation. That shit is crazy. But um now nah, we're gonna move on to this blood uh to the bloodhound little Jeff situation. If y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all live, drop location so we shot the way everybody from y'all already know what the fuck one on is up in here. So look man, little bloodhound Jeff dude ass is like a fucking like he trying to be like Vaughn so bad, bro. You know, it's like it's it's fucked up. Vaughn left a bad he ain't from well he ain't from Vaughn area, none of that shit. But it's like Vaughn left the motherfucking a uh, fucking uh some shit out here that these little niggas trying to achieve, bro. So shorty hopping on the internet talking about he got ten bodies and all type of shit. And you know, I guess it's somebody that, you know, a Leslie got took out that his ass, he like low-key claiming that shit. Like, yeah, you know, anybody heard from Slide? I guess somebody, uh, a nigga named Slide from a block called TMC. And you know, like he basically like claiming, you know, like that he did something to a dude that's not around and shit like that. And you know, at the end of the day, bro, like dude, look, at the end of the day, shorty ass not gonna be around long, but for the people who don't know, he from that 79th area, it's definitely, that's definitely one of the areas in the city where, like, this shit is, like, like the devil working overtime. Like, motherfuckers dying over there all the time. The little shorties over there, they fucking, you know, they doing all type of shit, bro. All that killing, like, the, the shorties is over there. It's like, they doing all the killing over there, the shorties. And it's like, he come from that era. He come from that era, that area and that era. So it's like, 
this is what's going on. But it's like, man, it ain't even just Bloodhound, Lil Jeff. It's all they ass, bro. It's just be certain motherfuckers that, you know, come out of this shit who got a name. So make a motherfucker pay attention to them. Lil Vine from 1700. Uh, Vine, all them little drench gang niggas. Like, all they ass, bro. You know. Like, all they ass gonna die. I'm fucking them. All they ass gonna die, go to jail, bro. Like, little Bloodhound Jeff, his ass gonna die. Like, cause it's like he doing, he following the pattern, bro. Like, ain't nobody who did this shit ever made it out, bro. Like, anybody who did this shit, like, you know what I'm saying, participate in the shit that y'all participate, they don't make it out, bro. Like, all y'all little ass gonna die, bro. Like, if, if y'all watching this shit, bro, this is what I'm telling y'all. All y'all little ass gonna die, bro. Like, y'all not gonna make it out. All that killing, all that rapping about the shit, all that playing with the dead. Don't nobody who do that shit ever make it out, bro. You know? You might still seeing some people who rapped about it who made it out, but just know, like I always say, all the big rappers who made made it in this shit, they ain't never did shit. Like Dirk, Keith, Herb, like they ain't do the shit that y'all doing, bro. They was around that shit. They had just got a name from being around the shit. And so happened to like to do music and they rapped about that shit and they made it out to trenches, bro. Like, y'all are the niggas that's actually doing it. I'm telling you, bro, if it wasn't for Lil Durk, we would have never seen King Von make it out the way he made it out, bro. That was Dirk doing, bro. Like, that was all Dirk. If Dirk, like, Dirk did him a favor. Y'all little niggas that's in the trenches that's out there really doing that shit, y'all need somebody to come uh, y'all, like, y'all ain't gonna make it yet. The only way y'all little niggas will make it if somebody who got a name already decide to come do you a favor. You gotta hope and pray that one of these niggas that's in position already be like, man, let me get this little nigga on the side of me or whatever. Like, you know, like, they gotta want to do a favor. Like, you gonna have to depend on another nigga to come reach his hand down for you so you can get the fuck up. Like, you not gonna be the one that's gonna make it out like how dirt key for her made it out bro because it's like yo ass you think this is the way like you think this is what's gonna help you make it out like that's not what helped dirt keith and g herbo make it out bro like being around that shit did add some authenticity to the shit that they were saying but it really came down to them grinding and you know, chasing their dream and wanting to make it in this music shit, bro. That's what, like, that was the deciding factor in this shit, bro. Like, they wasn't just, oh, we finna kill. We, we killing niggas and shit like that. They was just around that shit, bro. And y'all getting it fucked up. And, you know, a, you had a nigga like Vaughn who ended up making it. And, like, he one of the niggas from y'all era who was, like, you know, music wasn't his shit. He was really into the shit that y'all on, like, killing and all that shit. So, the whole time, you know, for him to make it, that's y'all poster boy now. Like, now y'all look at Vaughn, like, hell yeah, this this killing shit is a part of this shit. Like, we got to do the killing if we want to make it in the, like, and it's like, that shit false. That shit cap, like, you don't got to do the killing to make it in this shit, bro. Like, that shit is really not needed, bro. Like, you don't need to do no more. Like, I, like I'm going to keep using Dirk, the big example, bro. Like, all these niggas that I'm talking about ain't got no bodies, bro. Y'all feeling like y'all need to have bodies to make it in this shit? That shit is fucking backwards as hell, bro. That shit ain't going to do nothing but get in the way of your shit, but no, you know, Lil Bloodhound, Lil Jeff, he hopping on this song, like, yeah, I got 10 bodies, you know, he hopping on social media, like how all the folks them used to hop on social media, you know, telling all the bodies that he got and shit like that, and his little ass gonna die, bro, anybody who moving, how shorty moving gonna die, go to jail, bro, and this really some shit that I want y'all to hear and try to snap out of this shit. Just not wishing this shit on y'all or none of that shit. Like, I really want y'all to see this type of shit. And I really want you little niggas to see this shit. And, you know, I want this shit to do something to y'all mentally. Like, man, maybe, you know, I want you niggas to snap out of this trance that y'all in. For some of you little niggas, it's probably too late, though. 
I'm saying for some of you little niggas, it's probably too late. Like, ain't no snapping out of shit. How the fuck y'all gonna snap out of some shit and y'all done kill like 10 motherfuckers? Like, it's too late for certain motherfuckers. Like, for shorty, nigga that I'm talking about, little job, it's probably too late for him, bro. Like, 10 motherfuckers, like, bro, like, yeah, bro. Ain't no motherfucking, you know, your soul is fucking not there no more, little nigga. Like, yo ass, you know, like, you a real fucking demon. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying that literally, not to, not on no trendy, oh, we on demon time, not like that. I'm saying, like, shorty ass, 10 motherfuckers, like, at this point, it's like, yeah, bro, you ain't, you ain't got shit up in there no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, shorty ass a fucking, he empty. He ain't got shit, you know? And it's like, you know, like, it only it's only one thing coming to a little nigga like that, bro. And, you know, it probably ain't even going to be, like, to, to niggas like that, bro. You probably see them die before they go to jail, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like shorty them with all these motherfucking bodies and shit like that. Like, it's more than likely that they going to get took out this shit before they get caught and go to jail for the shit that they, you know what I'm saying, how to party and shit like that. But yeah, all the little shorties watching this shit, bro, y'all need to snap out of that shit, bro. Y'all need to snap out of that shit. Y'all need to motherfucking goddamn it. Put y'all energy somewhere else. Like, do the music, bro. Or or try to, try to get some money, bro. Or like, you know, Try to uh, take y'all little ass to school if you ain't got no face card already. Because, you know, if you got a face card and uh, if you got a face card and your ass target, ain't no going to school. Ain't no getting no job and none of that shit. Motherfucker gonna come up to your school and leave your ass there. Motherfucker gonna come up to your job and leave your ass there. Once you got a face card and you like a target like that, you can't be in one spot that everybody knows that you have for too long and you got a face card. It's like you got to be unknown. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, bro, that's why it's smart to not even get in that shit. Because it's like, you got to get, like, now you, you like, lowering your chances. Like, ain't no school. Ain't no job. Like, you got to make it some other way. So it's like, why not, why even do this shit? You see what I'm saying? So it's like, man, y'all last need to take notes, bro. Take notes. Leave this shit alone. That's not where it's at. Get you some money. Be, you know what I'm saying? Do your rap shit. You know, move the fuck around. All type of shit, bro. It's like, this shit ain't what it is, bro. You know, y'all ass need to snap out of that motherfucking trance that y'all in. But no, that's that on shorty. You know, um, by the time this video come out, I probably done already went live. But look, make sure, if y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is. Drop location so we can shout the way everybody from. Make sure y'all watch all the way to the end of the video so y'all can see all the ways to tap into the channel. Run that CSP hits up. Run that DODA2 up. Follow me on IG at the official CSP1. Uh, mess with my uh, CSP Go to War, War with Bloggers uh, series in the description. Mess with my Untold Story series in the description. Make sure you join the channel. Uh, go click the link that says join OTM. Make y'all sure make sure y'all support at dollar sign CSP OTM one, and make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merch, man. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. I love y'all. Tell <laughs> all my people pulling up, man. I brought some money out. I'll be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone. They be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Look for them over stuff. My blood and shit. If I kidnap granny, you gonna be mad as money. Fuck. Got the kickback. I come to start this motherfucker Bad bitch red tatted and hit the black as motherfucker
brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking shit. big granddaddy, look for them overstuff my blood and shit.